Hello. Hello and good morning. Love your energy today. <laughs> Good morning. I've been up since like 6 a.m. <laughs> Don't you love that, though? Because, you know, I, Holly Furtick of oh, Elevation yeah. Church yesterday said that the greatest things that we do come when, when we are the most tired. Do you agree with that? Because, I mean, you use your creative energy in a way that really can wipe someone else out, but you find a place to just set it free. Oh, yeah. I totally agree with that. I love that you listen to Elevation Church. I've, I've watched a handful of those sermons. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> they, they are right down the road from me. I mean, it's, it's right, Stephen Furtick is just right there in Valentine. I'm just well, maybe a mile and a half away from the, the church. Oh, heck yeah. I love that. Yeah, I've never visited, but I I've wanted to. <laughs> well, uh, you, you go with me, and I'll tell you what, you'll, you'll have an experience that you can't find anywhere else because, I mean, th- that's what it's all about. It, yeah. it, it's, it's about tapping into your creative self and how all of that energy moves through you and changes people around you. Hmm, I love that. Amen. <laughs> <Hallelujah>. <laughs> to hold on to your dreams. I mean, they are the size of Texas, and you're going, yeah, I got this because I'm going to go bigger than Texas. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But they're they're quite large. I've I've always been a big big dreamer since I was a kid, and so the dreams just continue to get bigger and bigger as I as I grow older. So they're much bigger than the size of Texas, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your way of giving yourself permission to be so creative? Dreaming big as as my way and my outlet of being creative. I think I would say that honestly. I think that. Um, you know, being a songwriter and, and being super creative, I, I, my brain always goes to the biggest things that I could possibly imagine. And so I think that keeps me in, you know, the childlike faith era of my life, as well as the, the dreamer era of my life. You know, as, as Taylor Swift is walking through her era, this mm-hmm. is my era. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's chapters. Yeah. That's what I love about it. And I, I love the way that music has, has been, you know, a part of our lives. But it, it's time to create your own chapter and share that journey. And, and, you're, and you're doing it because what, what you've done with this new song, Oh Say Can You See, this, this is a moment of recreating true, honest to God harmony. I love that you're using the the word chapter um, because that I used to define my anthem as kind of like just my life in general um, until somebody had mentioned to me that, you know, that's not your life. That's just a chapter. And so as I kind of took a step back um, and, and really looked at my life and all the chapters that the Lord's allowed me to walk through, I've been able to, to put it into song and to, to create music with that. But with Ose Can You See coming out May 19th, I'm, I'm just truly excited for that to, to hit the listeners' ears because, you know, my hope with, with this song in general is, is that it's an encouragement. You know, not only is it an autobiography of what I walked through to a T and doesn't even tell the darkest parts of, of what I went through as an 11-year-old, but um, but I just I, I wrote this song in hopes that it would also, you know, pull whoever is is in darkness out of it Mm -hmm. and just know that you know if they have dreams and aspirations in their hearts that no matter what anybody says that they can do it and they can find the drive within themselves to be able to achieve that they just need somebody to encourage them and somebody to kind of you know say that they're holding their hand along alongside of them and and that they're walking walking with them and so if I can be that person then you know awesome if somebody else in their life can be that person really awesome but yeah I'm just I'm excited for it to come out well Harper you're you're a beacon of light because there are people that are sitting in their bedrooms with their guitars or with their musical instrument and they're hiding their music at least you're stepping out and you're saying look you can do this show the world your creativity because yes it was a bad moment but you can do something with that moment and help change other people's lives Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it's the process every single day. Like we've been calling, you know, this a redemption tour as of now, as we prep for a sick and you see to release. And then I'm also going into different, you know, stadiums and ballparks and arenas and getting endless second chances to sing the national anthem all over again and all these, you know, major sporting professional events and stuff. And so it's, it's a process for me, not only, you know, I, I may seem all brave and courageous when, when you, when you see me from the outside, but I really try my best to make sure to stay as real and raw and personable as I can, because it's not, it's not easy <laughs> to do the anthem all over again. Yeah. Um, I st- still struggle with some slight PTSD as I, as I approach those events, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really glad I had a, a very powerful praying mama who, you know, really, 
continued to pray even before she had me um, that I would just have a lot of courage and braveness and that I would know what I, I wanted to do at a young age. And that's exactly what the Lord did. He installed, instilled, <laughs> sorry, I sometimes say installed and when I know the words instilled, <laughs> but he instilled, you know, this dream inside of me. And, and ever since then, I've just had a lot of, of courage facing that and, and knowing what I want and, and knowing that the Lord put it in my heart to do so. And so coming out to Nashville and making the trips and, you know, having, I mean, at the age of 12, I was Wikipedia searching all of my favorite songs and all my favorite songwriters and establishing a list of people that I wanted to work with and just kind of putting on this little business hat as a little 12 year, yeah. you know, 12 year old. And so, you know, just really stepping into what I, I hoped and dreamed for my life. And I'm like, I always say, I think if you're just going to sit back and, and dream, but you're not going to do, then it's never going to, it's never going to go anywhere. I think Lainey Wilson at the ACM said it really beautiful. If you're going to be a dreamer, you better be a doer because I think it's, it's so important to, to do that. You can dream all you want, but if you're not, you know, putting the work in, then, you know, what's it for? It's amazing to dream big, but also put in the work so that you're able to achieve those things and the Lord will continue to open the doors as you continue to put in the work. Yeah, because when, when you're paying your dues like you are right now, to me, that's part of the journey and that's the kind of stuff that when you become older, you can share it with other students of music and they too will learn through you. Yeah, yeah, that's my hope and encouragement. Yeah. Man, I can't wait to see you on stage. I mean, you, I hope you get on a tour. I hope that you grow well, well into your dreams and, and just, just share it with the world. But this, this song, Oh Say Can You See, is, is one of those things where what, what do you do with it on the live performance? Do you share the story first and then go for it? Or do you say, hey, I've got this new song out? Because you've got to be thinking about that live performance with this song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so funny that... I have dreamed of live performances since I was a kid, and it's actually really funny. At the age of 10, I created this this stage plot in my head, and watching Taylor Swift's last concert, she put this giant guitar on the floor. I was like, hey, I wanted a guitar stage when I was 10 years old. Was, <laughs> how did she get that out of my head? But it's funny. The live performance is very, very important to me. I think that creating that aspect for the the fans and for the watchers and the listeners, it's it's a whole thing in itself, you know, being entertaining and also seeing the songs that mean so much to me and are, you know, different chapters of my story. Um, but yeah, the question that you asked, if I, if I share the story beforehand or just go into the song, I, with Oh Say Can You See specifically, I do share a portion of my story Good. and then it, it breaks out into this piano intro, which is really beautiful. It took us a really long time to to nail the master track of Oh Say Can You See, even going to different producers and stuff, just really making sure that it's right. It's really important for me that, you know, everything that I release under my name is something that I believe in. And so I will not put it out for people if it's not right. Oh. And so getting those things, you know, down and right, and that's even getting all of the the ducks in line, especially for, for the live performance. And I, I always hope and dream. I'm like, I tell my manager all the time, I'm like, I want fireworks and I want the, you know, the flames coming out and, and all of these crazy things in a really long runway and the, the arena tours and all of that, you know? Um, but I, the main thing for me with all of those fun, ex, you know, portions in the live event is that every song with the LED lights and with the, you know, the way that, that the stadium feels and looks, that it also tells the story of each song. And honestly, I think that, you know, Taylor Swift, Lainey Wilson, Jonas Brothers, I feel like those are artists and even Hardy um, mm -hmm. and Morgan Wallen. I think they capture that in their live performance. And so those are some people that I look up to and hope that one day when I am able to hit the road and tour and hoping this, this fall and praying that I get on as an opener on, on a tour, um, but that where I, I'm able to capture the same amount of feelings and emotions in my headlining tour one day as I continue to dream big as that, as that happens, hopefully one day. <laughs> oh, I love it. Please come back to the show anytime in the future, Harper. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, well, I love that. I really appreciate your enthusiasm and your sweet spirit and talking to me. I, I'd love to see you in person and not just hear you over the phone. We'll go over to Elevation together, okay? Heck yeah. Church on <laughs> Sunday. Here we go. <laughs> Be brilliant today. Thank you so much. You as well.